Hi, welcome to the last part in this series on finding stationary points where we had an implicit equation for a curve y squared minus 2xy equals 3x squared. I showed you that we could find the stationary point by differentiating the equation and we did and we got these lines here and when dy dx equals 0 the stationary points were 1 and 3. Okay, x equals 1, y equals 3. Now, the purpose of this tutorial then is to determine the nature of the stationary point to see whether it's a local maximum or a local minimum. And remember that to do that, what you can do is look at the second differential, d2y over dx squared, and if you substitute your values of x is 1 and y is 3 into d2y over dx squared, if it turns out to be greater than 0, then it is a local minimum. So I'll just put therefore a min and if you substitute your values of x and y into d2y of dx squared and it turns out to be less than zero then it's a local maximum. And if it equals zero it will need further investigation. So if we're going to look then at the nature of the stationary points Let's just write a subheading here. What we're going to need to do is to differentiate this equation here with respect to x. So we'll just say differentiate with respect to x. All right, that equation. So what will we have? Well, we've got to be careful here because in the first term, we've got a product of two variable quantities. So we're going to need to use the product rule. And the same is true for the second term here. And with the product rule, I'm assuming that you're familiar with it, we just take one part, say the y, times it by the differential of the other part, and then we take dy dx and times it by the part y here. Okay, so let's start off then. We'll put the y down and we'll differentiate dy dx with respect to x. Well, that's going to give d2y by dx squared. Then plus for the product rule and then we need to differentiate the y this time with respect to x so that's going to give dy by dx and we multiply it by the other part and the other part is another dy dx so we've got dy dx times dy dx or dy dx all squared. Then we've got the minus and we've got the product rule again, so I have a square bracket there. Take this part, the first part, just write it down, and we'll differentiate the other part here with respect to x. So that's going to be d2y by dx squared. Then we have plus, and this time we differentiate the x with respect to x, so that's going to be simply 1. Didn't really need to put that in, but nonetheless we'll do that and then we times it by dy dx. Okay. Now we come on to this term, differentiate y with respect to x and it's going to be minus dy dx and then differentiate the 3x with respect to x, well that's just going to be 3. Now we could expand the brackets out and clean up but what we do know to make it simpler is that we know that at stationary points Let's just abbreviate it to stationary points like that, we have that dy by dx equals zero. And if we substitute this into this equation up here, it's going to take out several terms. It's going to take out this term because it will be zero, this term will be zero, and this term will be zero. So that leaves us with y, d squared y by dx squared, d squared y by dx squared, this term we said was 0. This term now is minus x d squared y by dx squared. And then that's 0, that term's 0, so it just equals 3. So what we need to do now is just factorize the left hand side. So we just come down here. If we factorize the left hand side, we've got y minus x multiplied by d2y by dx squared and that equals 3. So if we divide both sides by y minus x d2y by dx squared 
equals 3 over y minus x. So we need to just check the sign now of dty by dx squared by substituting our values at the stationary point which are x is 1, y equals 3 into here. So if we say when x equals 1, y equals 3, therefore d2y by dx squared is going to equal 3 divided by y minus x, so that's 3 take away 1 which is 2, and 3 over 2 is greater than 0. So what we have is a local minimum. So just to summarize then we can say that therefore the point 1, 3 is a local min. Okay, for short. Okay, well I hope you've got the idea then of how to determine the nature now of the stationary point by differentiating with respect to x your equation that you got containing dy by dx. Okay, so that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.